Welcome back, Sethling here. Today I want to show you a data pack that I made for Minecraft 1.14 that makes TNT explosions just a little bit more realistic. So here I'll set off some TNT and we'll see the explosion. <laughs> so the realism here that I'm talking about is sort of blasting all the pieces away rather than just sort of destroying everything like items. Obviously you can see there are some items, but, uh, but beyond that, it also sort of threw debris off and I, I think it looks really cool. Um, you can do it in all sorts of situations. I like putting TNT, just popping it into like a tree trunk and you can watch the, uh, watch the leaves go everywhere. <laughs> it creates a little bit of lag. I do have a pretty decent PC and it still causes some lag here, but um, you can do chains of TNT and obviously this will cause more lag, but, uh, but it'll also spew a lot more blocks everywhere and, and generally look pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a, bit, a little bit more lag. You can see some blocks still falling, but uh, yeah, we get some debris everywhere, and uh, uh, I think it's pretty great. So this does actually use the existing TNT sort of physics uh, in terms of deciding which blocks to break. So if I put a TNT on this side and then some other blocks on this side, you'll notice that the obsidian does properly block those explosions. Um, the reason that there are some blocks or some items getting created when I do explosions isn't that just some of the TNT is exploding some of the blocks and that it's creating an explosion. It's um, it's more like when a block lands on the ground, uh, if there is already another block there, like say leaves, well actually I don't think it does it for leaves. Um, it's using the same logic as sand. So sand sometimes if you whoops, sand, if you put it on the side of a block and drop it and it lands sort of inside of another block, um, then, oh, right, I have to do this. It'll break, right? This is a pretty well-known property. But if basically if two of these blocks land in the same spot at the same time, one of them will become a block and the other one will be inside of another block. And so the secondary one will break. And so that's why there's some items getting created. So. The, the way this works is uh, it uses some of the same technology as the undo redo data pack that I did the other day, uh, where whenever there's about to be an explosion, whenever the game sees a TNT with a fuse at its very lowest value, indicating it's just about to explode, it spawns in a bunch of area effect clouds around that TNT that uh, mark which block is at that position. And so when I have yeah, so it'll it'll do a, a cube with diameter 11 centered on this block, and it just spawns a bunch of area effect clouds for one for every block that's within that cube. And if any of those blocks in the next game tick after the TNT is exploded, if any of those blocks are now air, that is, if any of those blocks have been destroyed, the game will spawn in a falling block with a block state equal to whatever that block was. So it spawns in basically a version of sand, but, you know, marked as it's, you know, leaves or dirt or grass or whatever. And, um, and it also gives it some velocity according to which direction that it was relative to the TNT. So this one will get some velocity up and away, you know, directly away from the TNT. And this, you know, ran into some blocks over there, but yeah, and that's pretty much how it works. Um, there is one more thing I want to show you before I leave you. Um, if you do scoreboard player set global particles one, uh, this is actually how I captured the screenshot. So here, I'll, let me let me rebuild the house that I had at the beginning of the video. So be quick. I've actually had to do this a lot of times to capture that screenshot for the thumbnail. Um, <laughs> It took a, I actually put a lot of work into that thumbnail, but here we go. So uh, the particles that it creates d does two things. One is it makes the explosion last a lot longer. And the other is that it um, creates these trails coming off of each block. <laughs> and these trails are campfire signals, which lasts a really long time. So it actually looks really cool because you can just fly around and see all of the trails all of the parabolic trajectories that all of the uh, the blocks had coming out of that explosion. And it fades away eventually, but looks pretty cool. If you want to download it and try it out for yourself, there's a link in the video description. All you have to do is 
download that data pack and it'll just work immediately. So no setup or anything required. That's about it. Thanks for watching.